Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Hello, welcome back to Pleasant Valley. Today we are going to chop all these trees down uncut and we're starting now <laughs> ah no no way it's gonna be something like this there we go look at this i've been busy i've been very busy i have cut all the trees down and we got flattened out all of this terrain here and uh, look at this we got the sawmill down and we have filled it up completely with logs. You can see down here. There were so many trees. And I took care of this area over here as well. Because we're going to play around with that today. And that's not all. We got some sheds put down here. So we got a little franchise going on. And look at this. Now there's a little truck in the way. I'm going to remove that. Oh, it's a little floating truck. That's no way to handle your equipment. So we're going to move this. And I was fiddling around with all these wood chips. And uh, I think these are... Yep, this is empty. And I was thinking, well, we're going to have a lot of wood chips. We're going to really have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of wood chips. And I've been selling a lot, a lot, a lot of logs. And I've been selling even more wood chips. And you can see there's almost 3 million in here. Uh, this is the silo display. Um, just came out oh, just, just a few weeks ago. And I love it. Absolutely love it. But look at this. I have to give a big, big shout out to Papa Smurf. Look at this. Michael B. Wood Chip Storage. My own little place. Ah, how wonderful this. This bad boy here can hold 50 million liters of wood chips. That should do it. I think we have enough. And uh, it's really excellent. And and look at look at the look at this. It's just it's f just fitting just perfect in with all the rest of the with the storage and all the buildings here. That's really wonderful. And uh, what have we been doing over here? Well, I put a little fence up. It got some lights here, so uh, some solar lights. So it's gonna light up in in the night. Let's get dark. I found some farm props. Put on some plastic bins here and uh, a little playground for the kids, and they can jump around on the on the tires here. Used tires. Got a little place where we can sit and relax. And talked about last time, wanted to get a barbecue. Here's the barbecue, so we can sit out here and have some good, good food. And um, yeah, that's that's more or less it. It's getting really cozy up here. It's uh, really nice. And of course, not to forget the little pond here that we have been uh, been digging a big hole and putting down some water. And uh, here we can. Uh, in the get water uh, when that is needed for some of the future uh, factories want to flatten this area out right here and then we're gonna put down some factories just just about here and what kind of factories well I think that the, if we're going in here to take a look at the buildings the forestry factories we have been placing this down that was 750 uh, selling all the wood and all the wood chips just about cover it all and I thought well if I'm gonna cut down more trees I'm going completely insane so that's why I decided that we uh, we got paid for do a lot of the jobs and I don't think you want to watch me uh, several episodes just cutting down trees um, so that's the reason why uh, we have a plank factory that we could invest in uh, take boards and I remember something about now that we need a lot of boards. So I thought that we could focus on those factories to begin with. We got the pallet factory here. That needs boards as well. And I think there was the chip board that take wood chips. And there was one more, the barrel factory, yes. So the barrel factory, the pallet factory, and the plank factory. We're gonna shove that in right here where I'm standing. So, 
I will do my best to flatten this out and uh, hopefully it's going to turn out quite all right. Uh, if it goes horribly wrong, then I won't do a time lapse. But if it goes like, you know, just pretty okay, then I will do the time lapse. So uh, either a time lapse now or uh, just a cut. And uh, always remember to save your game when you're doing landscaping because there's no regrets. All right, so I think we made ourselves a little swimming pool here. Uh, a little deep dive. Uh, I think it's gonna be more or less good enough. Good enough. We only need place for three factories here. So we're thinking that we could make this an entrance here, and we can make an entrance just here, and just come out here as well. Um, mm -hmm, because we need input for the boards just around here. Flatten it a little more out. This. I think that would be fine. And that's about it. Well, and of course, save. Thank you. Good. And now comes the interesting part. Let's start with the bell factory, shall we? That's uh, not that big. Barrels. Uh, I think that little square there indicates where the drop-off should be. So if we try to put all the drop-off in the middle. And how much can we move it up and down? Not that much. That means that we are more or less leveled. That's good. Um, I think somewhere around... Out here. Oh, this is going to be good. Seems alright, let's take a look. Are they floating? Nope, they are on the pallet. There's the boards. Excellent. Yep, and it produces barrels, and the barrels spawn somewhere around. Uh, not sure. Somewhere. Do you spawn here? Yep, there. There we go. That's good, excellent. All right, and a little more finesse here. We need some grass as well, and some trees. That's all gonna come. So, next up would be the pallet factory. Was it? Yep, the pallet factory. And that's not that big either. So where should we place that? Don't want to make it too cramped, but then again, uh, not too. I think this is a far stretch. Should put down here. Down a little, I can see. I need to that be fairly flat. Somewhere around there, hopefully. Looks okay. We'll take a look. Mm 
Yep, yeah, there's a little on the rise there. That should be fine. Spawning point. <laughs> oh. Is it? Where is it now? Oh, I think it's right here in the front. Do you spawn? Where do you spawn? There. Okay. So it spawns right in front of here. All right, that should be good. So the next question is over there or over here. I mean, we can put up some sheds here if we would like, or anything else in the future. Right, the last one. The plank factory, right? So yeah, I provided ourselves with two million. So, so far it's cost 500,000. And we're gonna remove the money again, of course. This, maybe? Would that be too silly? Spawns there, and it spawns on the just the opposite direction, and... So we're gonna have drop-off points of boards, and pick-up points almost the same, in the middle. That would be actually rather perfect. Uh, something like this. And the road became a little wonky. But we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. I was thinking to just to flatten the road out just to make it level. Because this is gonna be this just looks silly, right? So we're gonna flatten the road out from here. Just forward, then we need to remove those trees. We can do that easily. Yeah, this is not gonna do. <laughs> We're definitely gonna tip over. All right, so the factory is done. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let me just cut down some trees. Oh, we're full of wood chips. Go we'll dump them off in the uh, trailer. I should think so. More wood chips. We're drowning in wood chips. Didn't I uncover you? Yep. Yeah, maybe we can remove this as well. All right, let the brook come along again. Oops. I think that should do. So let's see what we can do about this landscaping. And go into here and turn around. Get a bit of view. And I think we're gonna flatten out so it levels this that's a big chunk here that yeah, much better I think that's pretty all right that's pretty all right so Let's change for, no, not square, uh, ground type. Was that the right one? Nope, was not. Right texture. There. Yep, definitely. Round you on like that. And you as well. That. Good. So we need the entrance here. There. Come over here. Rub off and pick up point. Okay, so we should actually go over to take a look at the sawmill to see how it's doing. Yep, 
because we need to get some coal going. And I'm not sure how much does it cost to buy in the coal. How expensive is that? Uh, maximum. Oh, 70,427. Well, we could go for the coal mines, uh, but then we need to buy land. So for now, it would be the cheap option just to buy in some coal. And we could look into some mines. What is that? 507,000 and that is 575 that one over there is cancel 267 well that's manageable 270 well it's not that bad not that bad at all but right now i think we should go for buying it in and uh, you know, always figure out what kind of deals we can get our hands on uh, we need to sell that at least unless we want to store it somewhere I don't have some wooden pillars not installed but I will do that till next time yeah let's let's buy in the coal and let 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 the factory get going so we just just got enough money to buy 100,000 liters of coal there we go so we'll get boards We'll get some resin, and we'll get some wood chips. No, not more wood chips. No, 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 no. And we can store the resin and the, over here. And the boards, I think, shall go directly to the other factories. And uh, let us just let's just check what the other factories need. And can we run a little faster? Yes, we can. So barrels, of course, they just need boards, plain and simple, that's nice. And in here, they just need boards as well, that's gonna produce planks, alright? So planks and barrels we can store there, and what do you need? Uh, yeah, you need boards, it produces pallets, we need a lot of those. So it's just plain simple, one input, one output. And that's the reason why I choose these three factories, because then we can wait a little to play around with water and uh, glue and all the all the good stuff uh, that we're gonna look into later. Um, I also want to consider where those factories should be placed. Running out of room. Oh, that's a floaty tree. That's not me. I haven't been over here yet. Hmm, that's gonna be tricky to cut down gonna cause me troubles huh hmm well we might want to raise the uh, the ground here so we can drive up to and cut it down eh. Eh. yeah you're gonna be uh, a pain are huh? you not hmm. well we're gonna work for that we're gonna find a solution for that Okay, so we have actually a little deal down at the uh, shop. Because I went ahead to buy something. From the surplus we had from the wood chips. And not for the money, I just cheated in and cheated back out. Nope, we got ourselves a little secret down at the, the, uh, the shop. we go yes I know yes I know I can't help it I just like it it's so darn ugly that I don't like it that is my favorite so go and jump in here and back you up Ta -ta. let's go back to Oh, a nice little farm up there. A wood. A wooden farm. Wood. Franchise. What are we gonna call it? I don't know. 
Oh, gonna see you up there at least. No trains, please. No trains. Delivery, more or less. I can feel I need to loosen up my steering wheel. Very, very hard to. But still, put them here for now. I know I could take them over to the factory, but uh, let's just wait for that until the next episode. we go that's pretty all right pretty all right so let's pack this bad boy up and uh, call it a day shall we it's almost night time anyway perfect ta-da Thank you very much for watching and yeah look at this look at the lights eh that's so pretty that's so pretty lights thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you next time around where we're gonna get all these factories up running and see what we're gonna go from there all right take care bye now